afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat and we are ready for some daytime baseball. A two and one count to the Blue Jays first baseman. And a sliders in for a strike it's two and two. Not an altogether bad afternoon for baseball 54 degrees here at first pitch. Oh, and a big curveball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is retired to start out the game. The third base. Next to bat for Vladimir Toronto, Guerrero. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. In past meetings with Tanaka, just a one for nine. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Stepping in for the Jays, Mortis Guriel. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Now batting, Gio Urshela. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. at a cold strike three as the cut fastballs in there and that's out number one so the bases are empty with one man gone and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel Andujar and he's getting his money's worth up there now it's full three and two gonna be a long day if he executes like this punching tickets right out of the gate count still full three and two Fly ball out to straightaway right. Under this one is Grichik, and there are two away now. Digging in now for the Yankees, DJ LeMayhew, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Left center, base hit. In now, Aaron Judge. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed strike three. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Fouled away. Looking forward the strikeout. Here's the one two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Coming to the plate now, Randall Gritcher. The work on keeping this top of the second alive. The one two skied into straightaway right 
Judge is under it. And the inning is over. Next for New York, Torres. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Now in the box, Giancarlo Stanton. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And he misses two and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. So coming to the plate, Luke Voigt. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And it's fouled away. Full count, three balls and two strikes. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. So he sets Back him in. down swinging. The Luke Kevin. Boyd goes down Gary. for the second out in the bottom half. Kevin. Now the 2-1. Fouled off. Stanton is off of first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, Reese McGuire, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. A 1 1. Swing and a line drive. Foul. The 1 2. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one away in the Toronto third, and in to hit next the speedy Billy McKinney. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Runner at first following the error. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Kevin Biggio. The 1-1 home. Third inning, no score to this point. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another 1-2 delivery. Curveball bounces, and that gets by to the backstop. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Working for the punch out and the offering. And it's 3-2 and two now to the number nine hitter. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The payoff pitch one more time. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away. And it's still folded three and two. Payoff pitch on its way. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Into the second deck and gone. Stepping in now, Rowdy Tellers. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Swung on and missed three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. 
And a fastball misses there, ball four. Ready for another chance? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He looked to bounce back Vladimir after striking Guerrero. out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north the to seven, Number eight 13. pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Here's Brett Gardner now. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The one-two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. The one two. Misses. Ball two. Hit on the ground out to short. And there are two away now. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Miguel Andujar. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2-1. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Two and two now. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Two two pitches fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Teoscar Hernandez, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The 2-2. Two -two. Liner toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. The bat, the designated hitter. So at the plate now, hold the shit. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Now batter, the right field, Randall. To the plate now, Randall Gritchett. A ball and two strikes now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner on the move. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Number 10. Digging in for his second at bat, Reese McGuire. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last eight. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Now back, the fielder, Billy McKinney. Into the box, Billy McKinney. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again.
the 2 2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Sliding into the box, Kevin Biggio. And their runners at the corners now. Kevin Biggio. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The set and the one two and the slider is way low but a good job there to knock this one down three runs four hits and no errors in the game for Toronto a foul tip held on to behind the plate and he comes through with a big strikeout here to retire the side Stepping into the box, D.J. LeMayhew is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The 3-1. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Hit weakly back to the mound. And there's out number two. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Well, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. The next one two pitch. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. Now at the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He went down on strikes last time up. The 1 1 home. Nope. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Hit back up the middle. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. So now to the plate, Mortis Guriel. Enduhar fields it cleanly, and that's the first out. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope, that's down. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Hard ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that's the second out. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ball game. The one-two. Two and two. He struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton, hitting 500 in the series so far, four for eight. The 1-1. One, one. He's taken below the zone for a ball. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. 
Hot shot to third and handled for the first down. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Coming to the plate now, Brett Gardner. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Left side. And that's through into left, a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in left. The throw to third. And he's safe. Now back. Number 21. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he'll lay off the cut fastball here as this misses off the plate for ball four. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Stepping up now, Randall Gritcher. Yeah, we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Well, Matt, we'll see how this works out, but I think they figure with the righty coming up, it was worth sticking with him to keep the matchup advantage in their favor here. Now the three and two pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. fouled away and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone now Zach back. Britton is Number into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here so striding forward now Reese McGuire he came through with an RBI single in his last at bat And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. All even now, two and two. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ballgame. Three balls and two strikes to the Blue Jays center fielder. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he sat down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Standing in, Kevin Biggio. He homered back in the third inning in this one. High in the air out towards shallow right. Judge is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning.
And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. A hit in two tries so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Jordan Romano takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Aaron Judge will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Here's the 1 1. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. In now is the Yankees' DH, Torres, 0 for 2 for him to this point. And the pitch on 2 and 1. Ball three. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. There's one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Adam Ottavino is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number zero. Seventh inning ready to roll. So stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. Now batter. Ready now, Vladimir Guerrero Vladimir Jr. Guerrero. is working on a one for three thus far. In for strike two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now Stepping in, Mortis Guriel. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. For the traditional Giancarlo Stanton now comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Two and two. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. And that's out number one. In now, Luke Voigt. He singled his last time up. Popped him up. McGuire waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Digging in to try it again. Gary Sanchez. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ben Heller will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And it's fouled away. The 
2 2 one more time. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2 and 2. Hard hit towards center. Gartner is there, and he has it for the first out. Next will be the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here it comes on one and one. Down he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Judge is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Randall Gritchick. Randall Gritchick. One and two. Here it comes. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. A full count. Three and two to Randall Gritchick. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. The 2-2. Two -two. Well, this has been a good at-bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judges under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Anthony Bass is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 52. So here's the veteran Brett Gartner. One one home is looked at for ball number two. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. Number 29. At the plate, Gio Urshela hit the other way out toward right field. There to play it is Gritchick, and that's the first down. Here's Miguel Andohar now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1 1 home. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in the zone, or do you just pitch around them? And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Now back, second baseman, DJ. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. 2-1. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. The one one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And the run is in to score from third. At the plate, Torres. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Into the corner and slicing foul. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but 
kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And he has come through big time as this ought to tie the ball game and maybe even get him a lead. And the runner is in from second. He's safe at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. Justin Miller enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Your attention, please. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. Settling in now, Billy McKinney. He'll be the one to greet Chapman, who looks to put an end to this one. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. The next 3-2 is a swing and a miss that's strike three digging in Kevin Biggio it was a fly out for him in his last trip Kevin Biggio the set and the 1 1 pitch it is strike two swinging one run game here in the top of the ninth and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball Set to deal on two and two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. But taken in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Rowdy Tellers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Final strike for the Blue Jays. And this will be fouled away. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. The third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Yeah, and that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series, breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. A one-run finish, four to three, the final tally today. New York came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Ben Heller claims the win out of the pen, his first. Aroldis Chapman hammers down the save, his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees. Four runs on six hits. One error. They left seven men on base. For the Blue Jays, three runs, six hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and seven minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.